Hello students, today is a very short step in the Sugar Skull Project. You need to write your name on what will be the back of your base. And pencil will show up great on black paper. Make sure you write your name and class code, very important. On the other side is where you're going to set your Sugar Skull to dry when you're finished forming it today. The important word for the day is form form is different from a shape because it is three-dimensional. We are forming a skull-like form today, not a skull shape. If we were doing a shape, we'd be doing it flat on paper. So the main idea is to form it into as smooth a ball as possible. Um, it's hard because Model Magic likes to crumple and it loves to absorb dirt from your hands. I thought my hands were perfectly clean and as you can see, it's getting black all over the outside, and I decided it's so filthy, I'm going to try to turn it inside out, which will maybe add more crinkles, but it's a trade-off. Before you even open your package, you should detail clean your hands with a hand wipe, and you'll avoid the problem that I just had. So using my palms as a tool to form the skull into a smooth ball, and then you're going to slowly use your fingers to rotate and narrow one end to make a bit more of an egg or a human head shape where it's perhaps a bit narrower on the bottom and more bulbous round on the top. From here you'll be able to decide where you want your eye sockets to be and you can use a spinning pinky or a spinning pencil eraser to do that pardon the obstruction here and making sure the whole time to try and zhuzh your skull into symmetry so since i'm blocking the camera anyways i wanted to show you what this looks like when it's finished you can give your skull cheekbones like i did um, and just keep looking at it while you're looking down from above and see if you can get it to be perfectly symmetrical. I can see my left eye socket is maybe a little bit skinnier than the left, so that's something I fix. Have fun.